Hello my dolls and welcome to the Cello Doll YouTube channel. We have another tips vlog for you cellists everywhere. This topic is addressing one of my most frequently asked questions which is about tension. If you guys have any specific questions please leave them in the comments below. This is going to be a multi-part mini series so just keep that in mind. I might not cover it in this specific video but it might be happening in the future. So today I want to focus on tension in your shoulders which can also go into your chest plate and that was something I struggled with for a long time. I always felt like there was this knot in the center of my chest and I realized it was because I would play like this. It is always something I have to be aware of but now that I'm older I have some tips on how to address playing with high shoulders. So before we even talk about playing, if you have any videos of yourself playing, watch those and see if you can find instances when your shoulders hike up. In practicing, we're much more than a cellist. We have to be our own personal detective. And we need to figure out why that is happening and when is there a specific situation that causes our shoulders to hike up. You can even record yourself in your practice practice room playing something fairly short and then watching it back. Also practice in front of a mirror. You're still keeping a good frame in your body. Chin will still be slightly up. It's not like you have to look down at your shoulders like that because then then we're creating neck problems. In my case, my shoulders were coming up whenever I wanted to play louder, with more passion, and sometimes when I had shifts coming up. We want to go from somewhere up here and then higher. We try to do it with the shoulder, and really, how does that get our hand up? It doesn't, right? And I talk about this too in my thumb position video, but even if it's a smaller shift, my arm, my forearm, and bringing up my elbow is what's getting me to these higher positions. My shoulder is not doing anything. It flexes, sure, there's a little bit of movement when it flexes, but it's not, it doesn't come up. So now the instance of playing loudly. If I was playing a very heated passage, I would want to do this to really get into it. My shoulder comes up and I'm tense. That is something I am always combating. What you can do is find that passage, take that note, start it from a very soft place and making sure the shoulder is nice and leveled. Keep an eye on that shoulder and we eventually get louder. And if you know vibrato, add vibrato. That's loud. And I don't have to work hard for it. Speaking of vibrato, you vibrato with your arm and some of your wrists. Your shoulder does not activate your vibrato. Often that is another trigger for students to creep up. So I know I did that example with just one note, but you can do that with an entire measure, an entire phrase. Now I'm not asking you guys to press your shoulders down. This position doesn't require anything to be flexing. It's just a natural state as if you were sitting at a chair at your kitchen table. So a way we can activate that is if we hike our shoulders up on purpose and then just let it go. So before you start playing, you can reset your body by hiking them up and then drop. I take my note. And I play it from that neutral position. You can do it at the start of a run through of a piece of music. You can do it at the end of every line. Stop at the end of a line, check your shoulders, reset, keep playing. You get to the end of a line of music, stop, reset your shoulders, and keep going. That method also encourages constant self-awareness. That is something very hard to achieve. You will be working on that forever. Self-awareness. When people are practicing, they feel like 
everything has to be perfect. But when you are in your practice room, it is totally all right to focus on one thing at a time. There's no bonus points for so much multitasking that you end up not fixing anything. So it takes a lot of focus and a lot of energy to really dedicate your focus onto one part of your playing, in which case we're talking about the shoulder. So I hope you found some of these tricks helpful. This is just the beginning of our tension discussion. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you can get more tip videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. I am the Cello Doll. You can also find me on Facebook and Instagram. And Chelly and I look forward to giving you some more tips and advice. We'll talk to you guys soon. Bye my dolls!